Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Hello and welcome to come home. Oh my god, the... Nope. Ugh, that's a little bit better. Ailing Greenbrier, Portland. Flight 270. Oh god, it's pouring outside. But... Locked. Well, right now, so I should go closer. Yeah, it's definitely locked. Hey T, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried, I love you, son. I don't want anyone to know. Hmm. And you're not gonna say anything about that. Okay, I get it. Put the lights are still on so we can rotate it like five ninety nine oh nope I'm not really fan of storms. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like them when I'm inside and there are lots of candles. Okay, Terrence Greenbrier, destination Terrence Greenbrier, Arbor Hill. Okay. Box is, okay, so they just. Dear Katie, yeah. so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house, I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. The lotion dwarfs from the house left and grabbed the tonight. Close this text. Okay, right on bull corners and into a. Okay, never mind then. So kitchen first. No, this is this is bathroom. Interesting toilet paper. Okay, snow. It's of some kind. Nothing interesting. Okay. Of course, we're gonna close the door behind us. You want this pencil? Okay. If you insist, you don't want it. Okay. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come and see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. That's all. Okay. Oh. Is there anything? Sam. Sam! Hello? Sam! Sam, where are you? Huh? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. 
That didn't sound right. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so that's... Oh. Yes, the Sam. Oh no, this is Kate. Yeah, Katie, Sam, Mom, and Dad. Okay. And Katie has some kind of problem. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating a petite déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of fun to develop when I get back. Sam, I am bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. I guess she's your only sister. Oh, I, I honestly always hated this expression. Oh, you're my favorite! Yeah, I'm the only one. You literally can't have anyone else. Oscar Doc Mason. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, blah blah blah, okay. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 pm. All are welcome. His survivors include his new few. Wait, what? Mm. Okay, his survivors include his new few, Terence Greenbrier, as well as in spirit of people of Boone County, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Is it your sister? I really can tell. Welcome New Zealand. I ho we hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the full moon with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. A sturdy folder, a sturdy folder with pockets for each of your cl six class periods, one light notebook per period, or one large notebook with six divided sections, at least six pens, blue or blacking, and six pencils. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lo lock for your assigned locker, a nutritious lunch, or two fifty for lunch provided by the school cafeteria, a positive attitude. Uh, the only thing that isn't crossed out. Uh. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first belt ring at 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. I wanted to say that to... The last classes at 8 a.m. I had were in elementary school. Oh. From the from then on only 7 a.m. All day. Oh every day. Um electrical inspection form. Does this entire exclusive codes? Yes, are there any the Efficiency, deficiencies which need correction. Unclear. Ryan in house technically up to safety and amperet requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. The system is frequently unpredictable. Uh, lines bling out for no clear reason. Pressure of. Okay, no, nope. Mm -mm. Black cat, yeah, sure. 
Yeah. Mm -mm. <sighs> I swear. The killing of JFK. Okay. No, oh, thank you. Nothing important, I guess. Well, I'm looking some. Can I stop? Your service is carrying me. Uh, yes, there is something inside, but you are not interested in it. Thank you. Okay. They say that the jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, we'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this spot. Okay. Okay. Um, this is getting strange. Okay, says he's so. Okay, it's four digits, so. Is there a year over here? I hate you. Oh, there's none here. Mm. One nine six three. Let's try that. One nine. Means nope. Oh, it was worth a try. Well, I guess where's this switch? I swear, if the light goes out, I'm gonna lose it. I swear, I'm gonna kill with this pen. Oh, there it is. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they are becoming more troubled than they were from the, an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non securities from the usable copy without heavy re rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not the rumination of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I would just be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who could take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss. So I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Oh, four, five... No, I already forgot that. Um, I need to keep notes. I really do. Oh, four, five, one. There's another thing. Let's try a stranger under my roof. Okay, I know it's about teenagers. God damn it. Growing. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm not going through Bailey's face, but. I am not worrying about that. What's that? Second book? Oh, right. Something else? <sighs> Gosh, yep, exactly. Because adult. Like, 
Oh. Well, I guess it is kind of ch childish. Childish. God damn it. Own this kind of stuff, but. <coughs> Who cares? Especially. I don't care, especially since we. Yep. Because of the internet. Dear Mr. Mason, please find enclosed your original document and the typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of might and memory and after full survey of valid items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. 1. I declare that I am lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. 2. I declare that I have no outstanding debt to my name, to any creditors living or dead. 3. I do hereby uh, bequeath every item of value uh, of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres uh, located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal uh, property and moneyed accounts to my nephew Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will, this 13th day of August 1973. Okay, this is the same. This is the same. Oh god damn it, really. Yeah, wait, not this way. I heard some noise. I hate you. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions. Giant couch. Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, nope. Tacoma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. X file. Okay, I can write to watching X files. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions. Hi, Terry. Enclosed, please find a Pioneer L lab by Union of Mountain Cables. We need a half page review for the October issue. Yep. Yes, it goes in there. But it is not here. Sam, I thought this might help that oh that's the worst thing you can give someone who has You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone it's like they have a big gold star around them and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this like army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Harry, hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and anything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to be earned and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of pain it's been trying to find a publisher for a last work of literature and writing stereo reviews is that simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records and write up how it sounds and then get paid. I've included some issues of the Mac to use as examples. If you're interested, send some writing samples to my editor and tell him your old college chum Mike sent you. Here's the address. This is how it started. <sighs> And this book again. Anyway. 
Oh, don't. Okay, unfortunately I can't really... I don't think I can play it. Please don't close me here. Oh, This is so cute! Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was a black parrot ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first man said, Looks like you fought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black of the black ship. She he yelled to Captain Allegra. You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. And Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first man yelled out. We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see that her father was no liar. The battle kept going until a Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Oh, that's so cute. And when I was at like I write proper stories, yes, all I could come up with, wait, wait, all I could come up with were horror stories, like Metro or um, Stalker, like. Yeah. I just really like those post apocalyptic stuff. Even more of those books. More and more. Wait. This cute is to your mother. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood so much. Then he asked if he could lend some of his Nintendo Street Fighting tape and I gave him permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. Well, how are you joining it? Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit anytime. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that, unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to the Accidental Paria. Despite the low sales of the Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series carrying on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. Game. You know that everyone can be a writer? World history. No, I don't want to know. Okay, below the story is the events are all out of the world. Get a sheet of lined paper with reproductive since the worksheets number six at the top. And there's one of the two stories and I will write it. Okay. I am not really. Okay, and sh she wrote a novella out of it. Hmm. Okay, got me intrigued. The early morning of September 1st, 1939, Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Vilm in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, you can only think of her there Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races, the lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. 
Then there, her dear Boris, seeing his bake of smoke, he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a bit. The over is on the oven, it travels through the fallow pan tube. Over the wheezing of steam engines, a deep hum grows, is coming from the sky. Dark shadow pass over the station, a whistling sound. Essa, her falls, and only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out toward her dear Boris across the crowd. Her eyes lock and the moment freezes, the flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and, for a time, Boris Love, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing, bandaged with torn bed sheets. Essa's egg will not be mating a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another oven starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. It is incredible how the human body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. Well, she did it in the right order! <laughs> I mean, okay, I can't take it. Wait, this one has a title. Oh, I have really bad feeling about that. It will be important. So, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to and... We can meet in the parking lot at the 6th. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there, then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Oh, okay. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but... All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. So for now, stay alive and see you soon. Bye!